Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Random Pets Genetics Challenge here in The Sims 4 Laboratory. And we are getting ready to mix together a couple very special animals that you guys have been requesting for quite a while, because many of you are fantasy myth lovers after my own heart, who also have been quite enchanted not only with the many wonderful myths and lores and legends that surround wolves, but also have fallen for or Kitsune, or the Nine-Tailed Fox, which is a legend that comes out of Japan and has to do with foxes becoming older and older, wiser and wiser, and more and more wily in their magic powers and having their tails split as the centuries go by, eventually becoming a Nine-Tailed Fox that has lived for at least 900 years and has quite a bit of unique power as a result. And so today, we are actually going to be slipping out of the lab and slipping into the snowy, snowy mountains of a distant land, where finally our researchers have tracked down these two. Marie, the beautiful nine-tailed fox who has an unusual coloration. Unlike a lot of Kitsune, instead of being all white, she actually has quite a bit of orange and red to her fur, which I think is a beautiful variation. And she is not exactly a nine-tailed fox just yet. As many of the Kitsune that we run into, she's actually a seven-tailed fox. Eventually, as she ages and becomes stronger, she will gain more tails. But for now, she's, oh, you know, only 700 years old and feeling quite playful. Lately, she has been sitting outside of her den and she's been playing with her fox fire, allowing it to glow amber through the snowy forest and dance in front of her den. And she has finally attracted the attention of a potential mate. And that is where we are going to hide behind the trees and watch carefully, my friends, as she and her new mate, Boulder, a beautiful pale gray wolf, are getting ready to welcome their first litter of wolf and nine-tailed fox puppies, which I'm really excited to see because they're going to be so beautiful. Can you imagine the sheer intensity of a wolf mixed with all of the beautiful color and the wily craftiness of a fox? This is going to be a lot of fun, and I'm really excited to see how many of her children are actually going to inherit Marie's magic and her magic tales. So all right, guys, let's go ahead and get ready. And we're just going to sit behind and very carefully watch as these two prepare to welcome their first litter together. Boulder has been roaming through the forest ever since he was attracted to the glitter of the beautiful amber light, the fox fire that Marie would play with outside of her den, using it to trick and distract some of the different creatures of the forest, but also as a potential lure to a mate of her very own. He has just been enchanted with his new magical mate, and the two of them have made this forest their home and territory. Boulder spends much of his day patrolling the area and making sure that all of the other creatures, including some of the demons and other things that we definitely wouldn't want to run into in this forest, stay far away. And now that he's been able to use his strength and power to really establish a territory that's safe enough for their little ones to be raised in, Marie is ready to give birth in the quiet of their den under a fallen tree. She's dug it out quite a bit to make sure there's enough room for Boulder. She lights it up occasionally with her fox fire and has a little nooks and crannies that she digs out of the soil walls to hide away little, little trinkets that she likes to collect. Living 700 years will give you plenty of time to find a few little artifacts here and there to snitch from a temple or snag from a prince or princess who happens to wander by and add to her little collection of treasures. Hopefully the little kits and pups won't play too much with her treasures. But, oh geez, now I'm gonna have to write like a book about these two. This happens every time we start working with the fantasy animals. I really want to spend the next decade of my life, after, like not this decade, but the next one, just writing fantasy books. And you guys are here at the inception of so many of these story ideas. <sighs> but anyway, we're going to go ahead and watch as the little wolf fox kits. Pups? Hmm. But, like, we need to come up with a cool name for this crossbreed collection. But we're gonna watch as these little ones are born, we're going to see what colors they're going to turn into, and we're going to watch as they take their first steps and potentially inherit their mother's magic. 
So let's go ahead and prepare the random comment generator with some of your guys' names from previous episodes. All you guys need to do to become a mythical wolf fox is to go ahead and leave your comments down below, and that will actually put your name into the random comment generator where you might enter into a completely unexpected story. So let's go ahead and pull up the first little one. All right, all right, can look pretty cute. All right, Boulder, Marie and Boulder's. Oh, wow, I think you take after your dad. And this is actually going to be Kedra. Kedra, welcome, welcome. You look absolutely nothing like I thought you would, but you're so cute. Hopefully you will have your mother's magic when you grow up, but if not, your father's fierceness, you already have wolf eyes after all, will allow you to patrol the forest and help keep it safe. And Kedra, you, you, you really, you really can't give milk. I can let a lot of things go in the name of fantasy, but not that one. Bull? Really? You know what? I'm gonna let that slide. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and say that Kedra is very hairy, and the, if you collect some of her fur, you can use it in unexpected magic spells. That sounds wonderful. All right, so Kedra, you're a hunter, much like your father, whose fur can be used for quite a bit of magic, and you are also quite vocal. And who knows, maybe it sounds a little bit like music when you howl into the forest. In fact, maybe she could use that, like, her, her howling might sound like music to the different creatures, and she could use it to lure and trick people in the forest. That would be so fun! Oh my gosh! Okay, every one of these puppies needs to come up with a magic skill, and you guys need to help me figure out what that might be based on their traits and how you think their personalities would turn out. Alright, let's go ahead and get the next little one ready. I'm gonna pull up the next name with the random comment generators. And this little one is going to be... Oh, wow! One of the wolves! And this is actually going to be Rushing Waters. What a name! <laughs> so this is Rushing Waters, the um, Kitsune and Wolf mix. And Rushing Waters, you apparently also have... I'm just going to let it slide this time. You apparently also have fur that if you collect can be used for special magics and you are very independent and quite a bit of a couch potato so you like to take your naps that's very adorable i'm 100 percent behind that all right and let's go ahead and pull up the next little baby i can't wait to see them grow up this is gonna be really fun and then this little one is going to be oh no or gadget excuse me so this is going to be gadget Welcome, welcome, Gadget. And you are going to be a friendly hunter who is a sleuth. Ooh, I like that mix. So you probably are going to be able to help your father out with a lot of hunting. I'm imagining you're actually gonna turn out to be more wolf than Kitsune. And your suggestions for different crossbreeds that we could have include a giraffe and a boar. You have my attention at giraffe, my friend. I can't believe I haven't seen a giraffe in over a year now. Also a boar and a cow. There have been a lot of cow genes trying to slick in, slip in lately, so that would probably go well. And also a giraffe and a cow. I like how you're thinking outside the box here, Chips are yummy. That's, that's some good thoughts, good thoughts. I will definitely add those to our list. All right, Gadget, you go ahead and rest while everyone leaves a comment about what kind of magic you might potentially be able to produce. And then we're, oh! so cute this one would be so cute this one would be so cute what would you look like when you grow up <laughs> oh my gosh all right i'm gonna remember you in my heart little one this is this is a cutie i like him all right so let's go back down <clears throat> and then we're gonna go ahead and we are going to have this one be Ooh, very unexpected paddington so this is paddington Named after a Yorkie, who definitely thinks he's a lion. Oh my gosh, that's an adorable name, Anxiety. Also, I think now I'm going to have to have a Yorkie and a lion mix. That definitely sounds like it would be a lot of fun to see. We just did a Yorkie and a Snow Leopard unexpectedly. Did we do a Yorkie? Yeah, we did a Yorkie, didn't we? I'm pretty sure. Oh my goodness. And Paddington, you are going to be an active sleuth who is independent. So what kind of magic out of this mix do you guys think that would produce? I can't wait to see what your suggestions are. 
I'm not quite done. She has a couple more pups. Oh, there's that little floppy ear again. A couple more pups to go ahead and have. And this is actually going to be... <gasps> oh, look at those purple eyes and that black fur. This is going to be Molly. Molly, welcome. Welcome. And you, Molly, are going to be hairy, very playful, and friendly. Wow, I can't wait to see your guys' suggestions on what kind of magic she might give off. She already looks very magical before she even grows up. And Molly, you actually would really love to see what just a mutt and a mutt mix from the dogs would look like. I think that could be a lot of fun. We might do a mutt mix pretty soon. I find it fun to know like what you're at least working with from a base, but occasionally we could have, oh, we could have like a little rescue puppy crossbreed challenge. That would be fun. Oh, I will add that to our list for sure, my friend. All right. And Marie is finally ready to go ahead and have the very final of her little puppy. Puppies. And this is actually going to be Tigress. Wow. What a fun name. <laughs> Tigress the Wolf Fox, of course, because you guys love animals, so so many of your usernames are animals. <laughs> and Tigress, you are going to be aggressive, a bit of a glutton, and very jumpy. So I wonder if you're going to get into quite a bit of trouble and maybe be stealing from some of the villagers' storehouses or sneaking into their chicken coops in the middle of the night. Hmm. I could definitely see you being a handful that way. But all right, guys as Boulder looks over his little ones, determined more than ever to defend the territory and make sure that this is a safe place for his little wolf fox kits to go ahead and grow up. And as Marie noses all of this little litter and wonders which of the little ones might inherit some of her magic, let's go ahead and grow everyone up and see what they're going to turn out to be with that magic fur that you can apparently collect for who knows what kind of spells and then we will use the dice of destiny to determine if they will inherit their mother's tail gaithra you're up first oh <gasps> you're so cute you are so weird in a lot of ways i'm just gonna say it up straight gaithra you you got a face you got a face but you're so cute oh my gosh you guys <laughs> Oh, Kira! I love her! She just looks like she could get into all the nooks and crannies. And Kira actually did not inherit her mother's tail, so she, uh, she's got this little stub tail instead. Something about her just makes me feel like she could just, like, find things that are hidden away. I feel like Kedra's magic might be tied to being able to find, like, trinkets or hidden things that have, like, slipped through cracks. Like, things that have really just kind of disappeared from sight, she can rediscover. Have you guys ever, like, I don't know, taken out the drawers in a dresser and, like, found things that fell through the, the different shelving, like, the different drawers? And, or have you ever seen, like, the way that you could pull up um, a wooden floor and maybe find coins and other things hiding underneath it that slid through the cracks? I feel like Kadra's magic would be, really be tied to that. I'm just getting a super strong vibe from that. And she absolutely looks magical. Kadra, you're amazing. Let's go ahead and see what rushing waters will grow up into. Are you going to be a wolf like your father? A fox like your mother? And we're going all wolf. Oh my gosh, rushing waters. You do not look like your mom at all. You totally are gonna be ready to protect the area just like your dad. And just like your dad, you actually did not inherit your mother's magic tails. So you're gonna be basically like another wolf, maybe with a little bit of extra glimmer to your fur. It is magical after all, running through this fantastic forest. Then we've got little Gadget. Let's go ahead and grow you up. Gadget, you are not so little. Oh my gosh, and you're definitely going to help your father out with patrolling and making sure that everything is nice and safe. And by the way, Gadget, you also do not have a dragon tail, but you do not have your mother's tail either. Oh my goodness. I wonder if Marie is beginning to worry. She probably wanted some of her fox magic passed down to at least one of her children. But I wonder what Gadget's magic would be. A sleuth who's a hunter and friendly. What do you guys think? Because I don't think he would look like a magic creature, so maybe he could like slip in and just be somebody's family pet, but secretly be able to keep them safe magic-wise. That could be pretty fun. And Paddington, with your very unique coloration, you're up next, my friend. <laughs> what? <laughs> Paddington, how did you end up with this fur? Did I... Did I... Did I not put the mixes correctly? Paddington... 
Pennington. I'm going to be honest. I don't know if you're actually related to the rest of the pups. And I may have not been paying attention. But you slipped in there anyway. I think you have something to do with changeling genes. And you didn't roll for the tail either. So you did not inherit your mother's genes. <laughs> I don't know who your father is. But something tells me it's not Boulder. We're just going to put that out there. However, I love your fur. I love your ear. And I love how you turned out totally differently than we expected. Did your ear like change? Your ear totally changed from growing up. What is that? That's so cool. You guys. All right, Molly. You already look super magical, but are you going to inherit that fox magic? Okay, Molly. Looking like a giant fox so far. And you inherited Rom's tail. Yes. So Molly is going to be a big, beautiful fox. Uh, who does have a fantastic tail. We need to find a fur pattern that will let us show off the tail at that size. Na 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 na. There we go. And we're gonna have to go with this fur pattern so that we can have that tail. But Molly is a black, beautiful wolf fox mix who has the Kitsune's nine tail magic in her. I love her. I wish her fur looked a little bit more settled, but I think that there's only like a couple fur types when they're large that you can really use to show off like these beautiful, these beautiful tails. So we're just going to go ahead and leave it at that. Molly, you're amazing. And then finally we have Tigress. Are you going to be like your father, the wolf? No, you're going to be like your mother, the fox. And you also inherited the tail. Oh, so we do have at least a couple who are going to have the kitsune magic mixed with all of those wolf genes as well. You guys, this was so much fun. I loved this mix. It was just something unexpected at every turn. So if you guys could, do please leave a like for the new magic running through the forest. And if you have suggestions on what we could mix next time, definitely leave them down in the comment section below. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.